Hey guys, GamersWNJ here, and today I'm going to show you how to build this machine. It's a shop that uses experience as money and a shit ton of command blocks. Obviously this design isn't as compact as the one that's on the right hand side of the screen, also known as this one. But of course the bigger one has more advantages. The small one is based off of two command blocks, one repeater and one button. Uh, ignore the skeleton. It does exactly what the bigger one does except a little bit more coding will be needed. Here's the coding, and here's a short definition of how it works. When you press the button, a redstone signal will get sent through the repeater into the command block, which will get forwarded into the second command block. Now when I press this button, it will minus one experience from my hotbar and give me one piece of stone. Smooth stone. As you can see, it works perfectly fine. The disadvantage of this is that if someone is here that has zero experience and presses the button, the nearest person with at least one experience will have the money deducted and will get the stone as well. So basically, a person over there that presses the button will get nothing. Likewise, a person who didn't buy the object would get a minus amount of experience as well as a weird piece of whatever the thing bought. This is the bigger version, also known as my version. The design is completely original and is very, very easy to use. Although this requires a bit more work, it is definitely worth it. Now this works is when you press the button, it will send a redstone signal through the repeater into the command block, which will then forward the signal down to that redstone, which will of course forward the signal into the two repeaters on the bottom, which will then power the command block, which will give the player standing on top of it the item. Now if I stand over here, it's going to pop A12 because it powers up the blocks next to it, as well as the forward command block. Uh, but it's not going to give me anything. I've set this to give me one piece of stone, but if I get closer, it is going to give me something. Now this gets rid of the problem that I previously stated, which is a person with less experience pressing the button will minus the person with experience in the closest area, which of course is bad. So um, I guess I have nothing to say about this anymore, and let's just skip to the tutorial. Now what you want to start off doing is putting five pieces of stone in this fashion. Keep in mind I'm only using stone bricks so they look nice. One block at the back, uh, getting rid of a skeleton if it's in your way. Apparently he likes to go into my recordings. So this is how it should look uh, once you're done with the few steps I just said. Now what do you want to do next is put one block up there. Have a button on the side and have an upside down half slime. It must be upside down or you can't place the repeater on it. And then put a command block with a redstone torch on the back. Make sure you hold shift when you're doing that. One redstone there. Uh, you're free to f smash off that block. And then put one redstone torch hanging on that block, and it should, should turn off. If you if it doesn't turn off, you've done something wrong. Now put one repeater there, one redstone dust, and it should all face one direction. <laughs> one direction. Then put one command block there, and you're basically done for that one side. Now obviously this won't stack because all of the redstone will get jumbled up, uh, like shown here. So that won't power anything. Now you just want to add another one of those frames, but then add that block and remove that block. Uh, same thing, put the upside down slab with a repeater on it and then the command block. But this time don't attach a torch to the side and just put one redstone down there. Have another redstone there and a repeater, then put a command block. And that's how you just stack it. If you want to stack it even more, just keep repeating the designs over and over again. Um... And it should 100% work. Uh, if you have done something wrong, just feel free to read, look back at the video, replay. That's what I meant to say. Uh, that rhymed. Yeah, that rhymed. Alright, now enough of that madness. Let's start the coding. Now, first of all, I'm just going to sell one obsidian for, I think, $5. Uh, I'm just going to put a sign up so I can remind myself how much I'm costing it. So, obsidian for 5 experience. There you go. You don't, that sign is not necessary, but it, of course, if you're like me, you have short memory. Now what you want to type is slash XP, spacebar minus five levels, or how many levels you want. Spacebar at P, which is the nearest player. Brackets, LM equals five, which is the minimum level. Comma, range equals three, which is R equals three. Now I actually forgot to close my bracket there, but um, I think it still got it. Mm, yeah, there we go. Now what this will do is, it will minus the experience for 5 levels for a player 3 blocks in range of the command block. So if I stand that there, the, just now, you see that wouldn't minus my XP. 
Now check the code of whatever item you were going to sell and obsidian is 49. So I'm going to type slash give at P bracket LM equals 5 R equals 2 bracket space bar 49 equals 1, which is selling 1 obsidian for $5. That was hard to say. But uh, there you go. Once you've done with that, it works. If I stand over here, nothing happens. When I, Once I get close enough, which is one block away, it will minus 5 experience and give me 1 obsidian. Now, if you're making a small building and you want to hide this somewhere, it's probably not going to work out so well. So, uh, if you are making some type of a building that fl has flats all over it, I recommend you stick with a small design with the two command blocks and one repeater, because that's a lot easier to build. But as always, thanks for watching.